Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Marvel Snap video. Today, I was actually able to pull Maria Hill pretty recently, so I figured, hey, I have a fancy new collector, and I have, now with her, I have basically every single agent card, because I was also able to get Coulson. So I was going to make an agent deck, which is a, a deck that requires the Quinjet, Agent 13, and basically all these cards, and also uses some other stuff. So what is it? <coughs> Basically, these cards make a bunch of random cost cards, um, with the best one being <clears throat> Coulson and Nick Fury and Agent 13, and Maria Hill, it's going to really depend on what one cost they decide to give me, but I'll see on that one. And you basically want to either make your collector stupid big, or... Um, Oh, you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I was looking at my, my list here, I was like, you know what would probably be better than Black Widow? probably use Angela instead because <laughs> I use so many cards uh, but anyway you basically want to flood the board or you want to have so many cards in your hand devil dinosaur will take care of it and moon girl so that's kind of basically what you do American Chavez is in here because just to help you draw your better cards here and occasionally I don't know a six drop nine drop it ain't too bad but you will in theory if you've played Nick Fury have much better cards so that's the deck. Let's go in and see how it goes. I've only had one match with it so far, and it ended up working out pretty nice. Don't know how well it will actually hang out. It's very random. This deck is random. There's no better way to describe it other than, yo, this deck is mad random. <laughs> so I'll go here, Agent 13. Ooh, double Agent 13. Except for mine's the fancy one. Ongoing effects here are disabled. Okay. I think I'll go... I think I'll go Angela here. So I kind of don't want to use Collector just yet. I'm going to put Collector where Angela was just so I can... Ugh, that's bad. It's really bad, but it's okay. So it's okay for now. I'm going to put this rock here. Because I actually don't want too many cards in my hand <laughs> we both put our rocks next to our agent 13 let's go so i'll put that there and then i think next i will i think i'll wong here the next turn i'll be able to quinjet and agent colson and we'll see if i can make something happen in theory i can polaris and pull a bunch of cards to this side that he can't use Well, we'll see. I think Coulson is very specific. Oh, oh my god. I thought he was setting me up for a Killmonger. That's actually, actually also still pretty bad, to be one, to be real with you. But hey, we'll risk it. If he has Killmonger, then he has Killmonger. Unfortunately, not the greatest hand to actually use with... Um, not the greatest hand in the world. But it's alright. Try here. See if we can get some random foreign other costs. Oh, actually, those are really good. <laughs> okay, so if we use Enchantress here, that'll drop him down to basically nothing. But can we beat nine? Let me see. What is Can we beat 11? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just barely we would be able to. If I put this here, I should be able to get that buffed a little bit. Depends, do I care? Do I want to get two, four? I need to really think this out. Because do I want to potentially win that one or do I want to go crazy go over there? I don't think he'll play anything more. So yeah, I think I have to do it this way. Okay. We'll see how it goes. I was right in that he would not play anything more with Devil Dinosaur. I think we win this one then, I think. Yes, we do. Because Enchantress will slap his Devil Dinosaur. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know we still win. <laughs> oh, by one? <laughs> so close. I was like, there's no way he puts more dudes with Devil Dinosaur. Because that's just, okay, we got so lucky in that one. But if he had not played, if we had put him somewhere else and we put him there, 
I think we would have still probably been okay. But yeah, like I said, you have to just embrace the random when it comes to this deck. There's just so much randomness going on that you have to kind of live and breathe with it. And it's actually kind of fun because it really does kind of change the deck and how it kind of functions. Okay, let's see. Angela, okay. So I think I'm going to go Angela middle, Bishop on the vault, and then we'll start cooking some plays. Hmm. Fortunately, and, uh, Maria is only one drops. Oh, yeah, that's... Ooh, this is pretty good. So on turn three... Eh. No, on turn four, I should have some decent plays. Mm-hmm. No cards revealed this turn. Funky, but okay. Ooh. Ooh. I think I should go this, actually. No. Okay. I thought about it. Okay. Now we'll go here. Oh, that's really good. I think we'll go here. This way we can get a bunch of dinosaurs. Mm, if only we had Collector. If only I played Collector instead of Bishop, I would be in a much better place, I think. But let's go with this for now. Electro. Mm, potentially not very good for me. But I'm going to play Devil Dinosaur right here. See what happens. He's probably got a really huge card. Yeah, that would be the big one. Okay. Let's see. We're still fine here. Because if I just... Let me see, he's at that. This should even it out, I think. I think. We'll see. We're tied now, but he probably doesn't expect me. Let me see, one, two, three. Damn it, I might have been off by just a little bit. Yeah, I might have been actually off. <laughs> I may have miscalculated. Oh, well. <gasps> Yes! <laughs> okay! We win this one. Victory. Probably did not expect us to go there, but I decided that, hey, if we win that one, then we're good. Which is also pretty deadly with Arrow. Arrow is so good. Because you can just put dudes on a specific corner. But that guy tried to play only three cards and win. I give him props for trying something completely unexpected. But, hey, we did it. Let's go again. Let's one more time. See if we can keep the good luck rolling. Ooh, has their power doubled? Okay. Okay. I think I want to put Collector over there. Oh, man, damn it. Mmm, that's actually a really good card, but not for me right now. Okay, I'll put Angela here. We have some potential good plays coming over Collector. All I need right now is that I need... Um, I need a very specific card. I'll go here. I need Quinjet. That's what I need. Maria Hill can actually make me a Quinjet. I just realized. That'd be extremely useful. Ooh. Cool. Sure. Go for it, my guy. Create a random card. Mm. Ah, there's Quinjet. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna put Quinjet there. Then I'll put Maria Hill here. So, actually, no. I need to put more dudes over here. I'll put her over here. Now, in theory, I can make a Quinjet with her, and that would be fantastic. No effect. Oh, it must have been created by Agent 13. I was like, why the hell would you be using that card? Squirrel Girl is the opposite of what I need right now. Ooh, that's pretty good, though. Okay, so I think I'll go here. No, I think I'll go here. Here. And then next turn... Yes, okay. No, this is the play. 
Let's see how it works out, though. Basically, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to Wong Moon Girl Mystique so much that I have crazy amounts of cards in my hand. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. I think we can still win the other places. Well, actually, now I'm doubting it. Mm, Chavez shows up, and that's cool and all, but... Mm, let me see. If I do this... Duplicate my hand. If I go here... Here, here... This activates three... Gives plus one. It's not going to be enough. Not enough to beat Devil Dinosaur, so I'm not going to do that. I think I will instead... Hmm, this is actually very tough. I think I'll go here. Then I'll go here, because she doesn't really have an effect. I'll go here. I think it's still very likely that I lose this. I have to basically outpower whatever's here. And I don't know if 15 is going to be enough, my guy. But we'll see. Maybe I'll regret not playing Chavez in the middle. Bishop. Mantis. Sentinel, it was enough. Thank God. Thank God he put Devil Dinosaur all the way over here, so it gave me enough wiggle room to kind of play in other things. Like I said, Quinjet with this deck is extremely good because you're just able to play so many cards. All right. You, in theory, can play just a, a, your basically your entire hand if you have the field for it. Like, almost I feel like I should be running Carnage because Carnage would be able to clean up a lot of, like, the gunk. Let me look. Let me look at the deck. Where would I put Carnage here? No, but I really like Angela in this deck, so... Hmm... I would probably replace Chavez, but it's fine. Let's go in again! Because I feel like I'm getting, I'm in a pretty good luck streak. I want to keep it going. <laughs> Cars with no power you have plus two, two, three ability. Sure. Hmm... Move all cards here to random locations. That's bad. to be very careful about this. Go here. Oh, that definitely makes my, my mind for me. Uh, fuck. Okay. Um, go here. Yeah, we're both thinking the same thing. But that's okay. I don't need to play any more cards there. I could play him here now. Hmm. Likely a one cost deck of some kind. Hmm. Okay, let's see now. I feel like I want to go. Oh, yeah, this is the play. Yes, this is the play. That's fine. He can power up his dudes all I want, all he wants. Okay, perfect. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna play you there. I'm gonna play you there. <laughs> I'm gonna play you there, I'm gonna play you there, and I just, <laughs> let's go, my god, <laughs> let's see how this works out. <laughs> I can play a lot of cards. I didn't realize I even had that many Agent 13s, how many fucking Agent 13s did I have? One, two. Not enough to fully power Bishop, unfortunately. He might win this one. He might just have the get. Aw, oh, damn! <laughs> the squirrel was too much! Why is this getting so much? Why should they see and then... Uh, I didn't see the rest. Three, four... Yeah, he's getting a lot there. If I had put Devil Dinosaur here instead of over here, I would have won for sure. Close, though. Actually, no, I wouldn't have. Either way. It was worth a shot. 
If he if that last area didn't completely screw me, I needed to place one more unit over at the far end to get more out of Angela's effect. That nerf to her really did end up hurting her. But it's fine. Next one. Let's see, which one do I want to go? I think I'll go collector. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going collector. Ow, that actually does hurt a lot. That also means I'm just not playing Angela. <sighs> that helps, though. Oh, that definitely helps. Better have a way to get rid of it. Really? It's bold. Well, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We may as well just put this here. He's big enough now. And there's no way for him to touch him. Though, uh, I think Collector would have probably won it regardless, but we'll see what big dude he puts there. Sure. It's perfectly fine with me. Okay, let's see. I want to make the most out of this hand, so I feel like going... Mm, I feel like going you... I don't really want to snap at the moment. Let's see. Probably has something crazy big though, if he's willing to snap right now. Uh, hmm. Go here, then here. Then this should give me a 4 or 5 cost. I'm only going to be able to play 1. Well, in that case, I'll be able to play Agent 13 regardless. Oh, he has Spider-Man. No, he doesn't. Okay. I mean, that's pretty bad, but it's not too bad. Let's see. A 9 cost and a dream. I think I could still potentially win this. Let's see what he's got. Mr. Negative. This would be actively awful in my deck. <laughs> yeah, not, not very helpful for four and five units for me at the moment. Ah, we both went for the same move. <laughs> Damn, it's all right. Defeat. Still came pretty close. All right, let's go for one more one. But yeah, as you can see here, sometimes the the odds are in your favor, and then other times they just aren't in your favor. And also, if you can't play your cards, that also does kind of screw you over. Yay! <laughs> let's do it. Come on, be a bro. Good job. I will not run. If I lose this, then I lose with pride, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna put Angela here. Wouldn't it be funny if it was the warship was the final one? Some people really don't like Lamentus, but I super love Lamentus. It's one of my favorite locations. Uh, oh yeah, sure. Play Bishop there. So in theory, we both have only five cards left in our hand. But we both know that's not true. He's gonna move, move away somewhere else. place Wong here I mean he has to play something at the vault he doesn't have very many cards ooh carnage oh if he has death in his hand he could he could instantly win this I think yeah he definitely can because our everything got destroyed 
All right, I'm going to play. I'm going to play you here. Now, if he just has Cosmo, I'm cooked. But I think I should be fine. They don't really run Cosmo in death because it screws them over. If I go down, this is how I want to go down. With Agent Coulson and Agent 13 in my hand, knowing full well I'm not going to be able to win with 6 power. Oh, but he has to play something in the vault or he loses. Oh. That. That was potentially very bad. That could have been terrible for me. Alright. Let's do this, my guy. I believe in us. Yeah, there's death. Oh! <gasps> I think he wins. Let's see. Either way, it was a decent. It was a decent win. I would, like I said, if he had death in his hand, he basically won this game. And with Armin Zola, he went for the the risky play here, putting her here. Man, crazy! He rested all on it, 50-50. This man has better RNG than I do. What cards were in, ended up being in my hand at the end? Oh, a lot of them. I had a lot of potentially funny cards that I could have played. Look at all these silly cards. Oh, Doc Ock would have been great. It would have completely destroyed whatever he was trying for. But it's okay. We did what we wanted. We had to see it through. We had to go check it out Lamentus, but... I think with that, it's good. I think that's a good uh, match to end it on. A good, fun one. Anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Agent Deck, is it viable? No, not really. Is it fun? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is actually pretty fun. Because it's literally like you have no idea what is going to happen next. Uh, the problem is, is that unless you have Quinjet, you're almost, your chances of winning are like slim. <laughs> you are almost gonna always lose if you don't have Quinja. <laughs> or you get insanely lucky sometimes. But hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Till next time, everyone. I wish you guys the best. See you later. Bye.